Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, Sai Tech Guru. Finally friends, I'm back with the speed test and the RAM management test comparison between the Realme X1 Max versus Realme GT Neo 2 device. So this is a question which has been requested by a few of my subscribers asking me to compare these both phones side by side. Let's see which phone has got really very good RAM management and which phone can actually open the applications and games faster. The Realme X1 Max has got the Dimensity 1200 chipset and Realme GT Neo 2 has got the Snapdragon 870 chipset. So this is going to be really very interesting friends and both phones are having the 8 GB and 128 GB storage as well. And right now let's see which phone will be able to uh, switch on first. So recently I started to create this kind of playlist as well friends for the Realme GT Neo 2. In case if you want to know more details about the Realme GT Neo 2, make sure to follow the playlist which you can actually get here as you can see on the top playlist. So this will give the clear idea which phone is the best as well. So make sure to follow the playlist compulsory before you actually decide to uh, buy the phone. So right now I'm trying to connect to the same Wi-Fi network which is 2.4 GHz. In both phones are connected to same Wi-Fi. So perfectly done. So first I need to clear everything from the all background application. So all the apps are completely clear from the background. You can clearly see. So here is the RAM availability as you can see friends. Right now between both phones. So both phones they do have the 8 plus 5 GB of RAM enabled. And let me to go to the settings option to clear the process manager additional settings. And uh, process manager I need to do the deep clean as well before starting the test. Just to make sure that no application is running in the background. As you can see. Sometimes a deep clean will store a lot of applications in the background. That's why I need to clean it before actually starting the test. Now let's check the RAM availability itself. 4.82 and 4.60 between these both phones. Now it's time to start the speed test and the RAM management test. So this test is very basic test friends which I did include the 5 applications and 5 games. Out of these 5 games, so one game is a battery one's mobile game and rest of the games are really small games. So just to get a clear idea of what is going, going on with the speed test and what is going on with the RAM management test, that's the reason I did include the mixed application and mixed games as well. Let's start with the first application which is a Google Chrome 1, 2 and 3. So both phones slightly kind of uh, similar speed, nothing much major difference. Let's see the... Amazon slightly kind of little bit faster but not that fast let me need to open the mobiles and I want to keep some kind of mobile phone in the background let's let me need to keep this mobile in the background and next is a start sampling rate application I'm trying to draw some lines to keep this in lines in the background RAM management only flip card both phones not a problem and uh, try to observe the loading speed how the both phones are loading in terms of the loading speed next is a speed test let's do the speed test at the same time so connected to the same wi-fi network so that should not be any kind of issues but let's see sort of curiosity only i'm trying to do this kind of testing so doing the speed test at same time and same 2.4 gigahertz only both phones are connected and both phones are getting i think exactly they're trying to divide equally i think between both devices I think the first phone to finish may be the Realme GT Neo 2. I think so, but let's see. I'll do my best friends to post the videos on the Realme GT Neo 2 as much as possible before you actually decide to buy one of the device. That was my main purpose of uh, making these videos. And next is the games. Let's see the games, which phone opens first. So battery one's mobile game. And both phones are loading damage to 1200 chipset versus Snapdragon 870. So Snapdragon 870 did open the game faster and it started to boot up as well. Wow. I mean in turn load the game as well. Not bad. In terms of the loading speed you can see the difference. So Realme, Realme X and Max is taking some time. So you can totally understand another thing is that I am trying to use the Realme X and Max for the past few months and this is just a day one as well. That's kind of another uh, thing which you can definitely notice. But right now both phones are I think the subways of slightly first in the Realme GT Neo 2. Did open slightly faster. Candy Crush also slightly faster in the Realme GT Neo 2. Stake Balls, this game also slightly millisecond faster in the Realme GT Neo 2. And most of the applications and games, I mean games slightly faster in the Snapdragon 870 in the Realme GT Neo 2. Now we can actually see exactly from same company, from same type of optimization, but different process. 
So now you'll be able to understand time is the 1200 versus Snapdragon 870, how much difference it's there. So before every time I need to include the other Snapdragon 870 chipset from other UIs. So that's the reason I'm waiting for this kind of composition for a very long time. And finally friends, all the 5 applications and 5 games are completely open in both phones. Now it's time to check what is the RAM availability. 2.19 GB in the Realme GT Neo 2 is available and 2.27 GB in the Realme X and Max is available. Can okay, you see the difference how it is? Now it's time to check the RAM management from the back side. So one, let's check one by one. I'm trying to check one by one as you can clearly see. So till five games, it should not be any kind of problem friends because both phones will be able to maintain five games exactly every time perfect. Next is about the speed test. I'm trying to show you from the multitasking only. So you know, actually I'm trying to open. Let's see this speed speed test, which phone can actually keep these results in the background. You can actually see the results, right? 21.8 and 41.9. Let's see without refreshing can they open or not 1, 2 and 3, boom. So both phones didn't open the speed test application. You did see that clearly, it's, it's not working. And let's see the Flipkart application, what is happening with the Flipkart. Can this open iPhone 12 without refreshing? Both phones same type of behavior in terms of the RAM management, nothing much major difference. And next is touch sampling rate in terms of the drawing the lines. You can see in the RAM management but Let's see, as soon as you open, will it be there or not? No, it's not there. So overall friends, in, the, in terms of the RAM management, clearly both phones are exactly similar. That's kind of uh, because same Realme. So same, I think the Realme X and Max was there in the electronics mobile page, but the Realme GT Neo 2 went back to the home page directly. It's not there in the mobile page. So that's a small difference, nothing much major difference. But total fans, in terms of the speed test, slightly the Realme GT Neo 2 is the best. In terms of the RAM management test, still the Realme need to improve the ROM, RAM management and optimization for multiple games and uh, application storing in the background. Maybe with the Realme UI 3.0, the things might get slightly better, but I, I'm not sure unless I get update, only then I will be able to conclude and come to the final conclusion. And let me know in the comment section below what are your thoughts on these both phones. So what are the different different testings you want me to compare between these both phones. So let me know in the comment section below friends. Definitely I'll do my best to post the videos as soon as possible these devices. And final RAM management is this much. And let me to click clear. So even after using the extended rank capabilities as well but still RAM management is not at all effort because I do I do know the external expansion of the RAM is kind of really gimmick not only in this phone in other phones as well it's kind of really gimmick it doesn't work the way we want it so that's it friends thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates in case if you have any other queries let me know in the comment section below meanwhile signing off and bye